Well, regardless of what happens with Toy Fair and regardless of what happens with uh, HasLabs, you have your strutting moogs coming out, which we talked about. Um, mm-hmm. What else you got? What else you have coming out right now? What else is going on in Phantasm Toys Land? Well, while we were playing around with uh, strut and moogs, uh, we were trying to pick like different poses and struts and positions for them to be in, whichever ones we liked. And I mean, we did settle on, I think is by far the best one and my favorite, but we also had some good ones. So we went ahead and made him a, a, a little, a little mini me, a mini moogs in our, <laughs> in our Crypt Creepers form and made him glow in the dark. So it was another, another strut pose we were thinking of. This one's more along the lines of him wiggling around the trash cans more than getting that full strut going. So we have him also available in a, in a mini form and we've released our, our second wave of fan plasms, which is our recreations of the ectoplasm ghosts. Uh, cause they're, they're hard to find and I yeah. want them for my collection <laughs> and they can be expensive. And, and, but more importantly, they're just really hard to find. and we really wanted to make them just uh, just to see if we could really. And we don't even own any physical ones. So we've, we're completely re-sculpting them from the ground up. Gotcha. And just off of pictures and photos and reference. I have two. Uh, I only have two of the ectoplasm ghosts myself in my collection. So uh, right now we got the they had a, uh, a three pack. Well, it wasn't a three pack, but there's three in a set to complete and it made a face. And they called it their come to the come to your senses ghost. So we completely recreated the lip ghost and the nose ghost and the eyeball ghost. And we got those uh, in a three pack in a really vibrant yellow color. And they fit right in with the the old school Kenner stuff. And it's a fun three pack that we got available now, too. I looked at those and I thought. I really wish there was some sort of Mr. Potato Head product that these went on to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is my way of like telling you that you now need to make a haunted Mr. Potato Head item. Like you need to create <laughs> that as a ghost, you know, just, I don't know, poltergeist potato. I'm, I'm not just throwing <laughs> things out there, you know? And, but. and the, uh, the original come to your senses ghosts were kind of, uh, they were kind of two sided, like with the eyeball one, you it looked like a certain kind of ghost and had all kinds of features on the one side. And if you turned it around, yeah. kind of had a different look to it. We really took that to another level. So now these ones are especially the lips and the, the eyeball ghost. If you look at them from the front and the back, they 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 work both ways and are completely different style faces. And but really still capture that old school Kenner feel. And uh, I love them. I think they're really fun. Yeah, they're very cool. Um, I like your mini moogs, and I was thinking about that today. That uh, <laughs> this is maybe you will end up doing this. Maybe you already thought about this, but what if you did a three pack of those in different poses, like the same oh. way the mini puffs came out from the plasma series? That is a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking no, about we- this because I went into my closet today to look for something, and I thought I had like four packages of those. Cause I was like, I'm going to army build these. And then I realized how many people I know who were like, couldn't find them. And I went, Oh, I have an extra. Don't worry. And so I opened my closet and I was like, I only have one extra of these. How did that happen? <laughs> That's not supposed to be a thing. And I went online to go look and I was like, Oh my God, nobody has these anymore. Like this is the thing from the entire plasma series line that has become the hardest to find. Like, do you want a podcast plasma series figure? six dollars on clearance somewhere <laughs> but like if you want those little uh you know stay puff figures the little mini puff figures they had they're way harder to find now. it's kind of crazy so you could do mini moogs and that would be awesome I would buy those. <laughs> yeah we wanted to keep we want to keep our crypt creeper line going too so and he's like of all of the companion quote-unquote companion ghosts and pack-in ghosts he's He's perfect. He's the companion ghost. Yeah. So we had to make him in a in a mini ghost form too, and and we and we're huge fans of anything that glows in the dark. And any opportunity we have to make something glow in the dark where it actually makes sense and still looks good, we're gonna do it. So yeah, obviously, mini moogs glows in the dark. That's awesome. I'm <laughs> I'm excited about that. 
Um, I kind of want to army build them now. I just want like what's funny is that you always <laughs> you always army build because you just do production. And so like you have to build an <laughs> army in the process of producing. And you often send me these photos that are like, hey, here's my basement right now. And here's like, you know, several hundred of something. And I'm like, oh, my God, this guy's <laughs> army building. So <laughs> literally, yeah. Yeah, it's good. I like that. So, but I, beyond that, um, you said you're going to continue working on the Crypt Creepers line and I imagine you've got some other class 10 ideas still in the pipeline that we've yet to see. Yeah. A lot. We've, we've teased a lot of things and we're, and we're working on them. It's just, we're a really small, tiny little speck of a company, really, if, if, if anything, and just two dudes hand making everything and there's not a single order that doesn't get shipped out that isn't you know everyone goes through my hands right. from point a to to your collection so it take it takes some time so we don't want to we don't want to lose our quality and start rushing and that's our most important important thing we want to maintain is the quality of the stuff that we put out so we try to not bite off more than we can chew but a lot of the stuff that we've teased in the past it's still in the works and we do still plan on having it come out you've shown me photos like over the last year especially like producing slime ball with like all these different variations of them because you're getting sculpts right and stuff and i was thinking about you all recently because like pre what is that pcs like a premium collectible studio whoever's doing that the 700 dollars figures of or figurines of ghostbusters yeah vegan and ray they showed and yeah yeah they put out like their ray figure and the community was like, what? And even <laughs> I was like on the podcast jokingly saying like, he looks like Roy Stans and not Ray Stans. I don't know who this guy is. He looks like Roy and not Ray. But that's a company that turned around and had like the same, like, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to get feedback and we're going to change what we're doing. Right. We're going to kind of mm-hmm. change course and redesign what we're doing to better meet co- consumer need. And it's an admirable quality. You know what I'm saying? And so it's, it's just something that I think that you may continue to uphold that kind of a decision making process of like, what can we do that is going to be make people happy, make sure we're getting it right. It may take longer. We may release things in the pace we want to, but it means that you don't send anybody home unhappy. So. Yeah. Try not to. Cause I've, I've been there personally. So dealing with, you know, other smaller companies and things taken way too long or you get it and you're like, what the hell is this? Yeah. <laughs> but so I, I, you know, I, it, I take a lot of pride in what I do and try to put myself in the customer's shoes. Cause I've been there and try to maintain, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but we're just trying to keep doing what we're doing <laughs> I- and we're still having a lot of fun doing it. I I think one of the things I want to tell you that um, this is kind of fun is that as a result of you coming on the show and getting to know people from the show, I now get vicarious joy messages sometimes. Like people buy something from you and then they message me to tell me they did. (laughs) (laughs) That's awesome. And they're like, look, my destructor's here. And they send it to me. And I'm like, that's awesome. I'm so stoked for you. And I've had several people message me and be like, Hey, I got a destructor. And I'm like, right on. That's dope. And they're like, this thing's great, isn't it? And I'm like, yes, it really <laughs> is. It's really one of like the best things, isn't it? And so um, you should know that, that even if people don't message you, I know that, you know, as, as a company, sometimes you get messaged for reasons like I'm dissatisfied about whatever. And I don't think you get too much of that. But like every company does. If you're not getting enough, hey, this is yeah, awesome. Yeah, you can't posts. make everybody happy all the time. But. Yeah. But if you're not getting enough accolades yourself, like know that I'm receiving them on your behalf sometimes. <laughs> just kind of fun. They're like, the guy who was on your podcast, I bought his thing. It's really cool. I'm like, I know. That's why I, why I said you should get one because I got one. But yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's so rewarding to see that when I, when we do get the messages from people and say, hey, I got it. And look, he fits right in. And look, I got him right next to this or this. And it's an honor to be in people's collections and right next to their stuff. and showing off our things next to other collectibles and things that they cherish and our stuff is sitting right on the shelf next to it. And it from the first time I've ever received a picture that somebody sent me where they got something that I made to the very last one I just received is still yeah. awesome. I still can't get over it. It's surreal. It's so funny. And it's just like so great. I mean, I've talked about this a million times of watching you all grow as a company and the time that you have is amazing. It's just like, wow, how did you do this? Is like, it's impressive. But 
I, I do think that that has to be such a good part of this is that the number of people whose faces you put smiles on, uh, because you know, <laughs> I, I really, I, I'm love getting those messages from people who are just excited when they get the thing from, you know, they, they've, they've seen it, they've been waiting for it, they get it. And there's this sort of desire to share that joy. And when, and I mean this, if you're one of those people out there who messaged me, I'm not even like saying this facetious be like, I love getting those messages. They're like, look what I got. I've been waiting for it. I'm like, that's <laughs> awesome. Like that makes my day to know that you are excited about it. Cause it's just, it's cool. So I don't know. I appreciate you coming on the show. Um, is there anything else you want to talk about before we split? Uh, if you're anywhere near Cincinnati for Cincinnati comic expo, find phantasm toys we're gonna be there i don't know where we're gonna be in <laughs> but we're gonna be there we got a table uh we're gonna have a lot of stuff set up a lot of stuff for sale a lot of surprises a lot of cool things i would love to be able to meet some people and and that's that's exactly why uh why we decided to do a convention while brendan's here so we can shake some hands and have some fun and and get out there and not just be an internet identity and become like a real company. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, if you're around Cincinnati, September, I think it's like I said, September 22nd, I think it starts. Uh, we'll be there. I'm excited for you all to be going out to that. I also want to say, of course, that people can get your stuff at phantasmtoys.com and that your pre-order for everything we've talked about, your strut. Yeah. Books. Uh, Strut and Moogs. We got glowing mini Moogs, fan plasms. We got them yeah. up, uh, up for pre order now for probably, I don't know, a couple more weeks. We'll make sure that we post, follow us on Instagram is where we do most of our work. And uh, we'll make sure that we let everybody know what we got coming up and what's available and all that good stuff. So, well, I hope us. you take lots of photos at uh, Cincinnati Comic Expo. I want to keep calling yeah. it comic palooza or comic. I just want to make it something else. I don't I've know called it 20 different things and it <laughs> might not even be comic expo to be honest. <laughs> and I'm not sure how we're going to put this one in the books. Cause technically this was supposed yeah. to be an appearance for the two of you. And we said we were starting a new punch <laughs> card for the two of you, but then you came alone, which I think means that you might've actually exceeded your five. Oh, God. Uh, who's counting get robes man this uh, is... who's counting <laughs> <laughs> no i appreciate that you come on extra plasma as often as you do because you're one of my favorite people to talk to uh, about stuff with ghostbusters stuff and just in life you're just a person who's grown to be an amazing friend and um, when i say for it, for the phrase friend of a podcast you know it's a thing people joke about and dandy around i joked at one point i was going to get t-shirts for anyone that just said i'm the friend of a podcast and just had extra plasma on the podcast <laughs> back of 